TWP theme park plunge here for a first ever visit to Michigan's Adventure. I'm not sure anything's open at the moment, really. It's kind of drizzling. I don't know what their rain policies are here. I didn't think I'd be going to another park after Cedar Point, but I got hyped up, couldn't resist, couldn't stop, and here I am. Michigan's Adventure, hopefully it's a quick visit. I'm hoping this stuff opens so I can get these credits and get back home. Didn't want See over there, you got your Velcoma SLC, that's running. Thank God. And then we got Wildcat over here. I haven't seen a train on it. Of course, we're here to see if Shivering Timbers lives up to the hype. We hear it's a top wooden roller coaster in the world. I love wooden roller coasters. I love PTC trains. So I gotta hit it. So I'm hoping that this lives up to it. It looks like the, the, despite the rain, it's Saturday. It looks like there's a decent crowd here at the park. They, they really should probably invest a little bit more in this park. Oh, it's running. It's running. I can hear it. Shivering Timbers. Check her out. Shivering Timbers. It's running. Let's get up there. So when people tell you to go to Michigan's Adventure to ride Shivering Timbers, you need to listen. You need to listen. You need to listen. Hold on. Okay. So you got those three massive drops. You go down one, you go right back up, hit another drop, and right back up, do another drop. It's got this crazy, amazing, amazing helix at the end. It flies through the layout. It's a little bit rough. If it was smoother, it'd be really damn close to the voyage. This is the... Number two wood roller coaster for me that I've been on. Number one voyage, number two shivering timbers, number three maybe ravine flyer. Um, that was phenomenal, phenomenal ride. Was it worth driving three three hours and a half from Ohio or wherever I was, and then back four hours today to Indianapolis? Yes, it is. I don't. I don't. I know everything else is not going to compare to this, but. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal roller coaster. It's definitely top 20 worthy. It's definitely a top wooden roller coaster in the world. And um, yeah, you need to go ride it. So I just rode it in the front row. So I rode it towards the back. I was like row 10, I think, when I started. And that was phenomenal. I rode the front row. It was still phenomenal, but I like it better towards the back. Just like the voyage. Back, back row, back area. That's the best. Get the most air time. Oh my God. What a phenomenal roller coaster. Yeah, you gotta come. It's worth the drive. You gotta do it. Uh, no lies. No lies. No BS. You gotta do it. Now we're gonna do the Wolverine Wildcat. Look, fresh wood. We got some fresh wood over here. That's pretty cool. Wildcat sat towards the front, but 
really good ride, actually. Um, I would say comparable to the type of experience I get. I mean, not obviously the layout's not the same or anything like that, but the enjoyment level is about the same as a uh, racer, I think, at like Kings Island or something, or even the one at Kings Dominion. I mean, it's about that level of a ride. It's, you know, and, and, and a little bit above average wooden roller coaster. It's fun. It's good time. And uh, so they at least have two good rides here. You got Shivering Timbers and Wolverine Wildcat. And it's a lot of it's retracked uh, for a lot of fresh wood on it. Really enjoyed it. Uh, decent airtime pops. And uh, obviously not as exciting as Shivering Timbers, but pretty good. Surprised me. So I'm not getting on the SLC back there. Um, one, I need to get home. Two, I don't think I don't think I meet the weight limit. I hear it's like 230. Um, I'm not crying about it. I don't really care to go on those. So, um, but I'm trying to get on everything else. I may skip them, depending. I may skip the um, Wild Mouse. We'll see. But I, I still got to get on the corkscrew, and I got on the two good wooden roller coasters. I like this pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. Nice and clean. It really adds to the park. And way back in the distance there, you can see the Michigan's Adventure water tower with Snoopy on it. Check out the corkscrew here. Reminiscent of Cedar Point, I guess. <laughs> Look it up, but this has got to be like the 70s when this was built. All the coasters here are pretty old. I think Wolverine Wildcat is 1988. It was based off the Wolverine at Coney Island loosely and then there was the uh, shivering timbers is 1998 and we'll see what this one is okay 1979 this park used to be called deer park um before it was sold and changed names and this was the first ride in the park it's an old arrow it's one of the oldest arrows remain so there you go we already know what we're gonna get here <laughs> so far this is the longest line which is interesting also it's gonna be carolina Cyclone vibes with the color scheme. Experiencing a delay, it looks like it's on again though, so hopefully we get a ride. So corkscrew, exactly what I thought. Pretty much, if you've ridden corkscrew at Cedar Point, <laughs> pretty much the same thing. Those trains are really, really old though. They got less room than some other aero trains like Anaconda, Carolina Cyclone. Um, they're just old, you know, 1979. We're talking the oldest of the old. One of the original aero loopers. Uh, not terrible, but nothing too exciting. Um, obviously the gems here are the two wooden coasters, especially Shivering Timbers. Up here we have Mad Mouse, like something. Yeah, Mad Mouse. We got a line. Do we want the credit? Let's see. Apparently, this was built in 1999. Aerodynamics Wild Mouse. It's the tallest Wild Mouse there is. Interesting. Pouring down rain now. Still waiting to get in this wild mouse. We're not getting a ride on the mad mouse because they're closing it due to rain. Um, you know, <laughs> I got on the three ones that were most important, I think. This would have been four, but we'll live. Super quick visit to Michigan's Adventure. This is going to be a very short vlog, but I got to experience Michigan's Adventure, which is cool. I got on Shivering Timbers, which was a goal. Got a Wolverine Wildcat and got a corkscrew and almost got on the Wild Mouse, but oh well. It's raining. What could you say? What could you do? And uh, I'm not going to wait around an hour and hope that it runs again because that's an hour I could be closer to home. There was our day and Michigan's Adventure shut, cut a little bit short because of rain. I probably would have left right after that ride anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, 
not a bad park. If you're in the Michigan area, it's worth going to, or if you just really like wooden roller coasters, it's definitely worth the visit for Shivering Timbers. But I would find another reason in Michigan to visit because this is a great place to adventure, a great place to hike, to go boating, hunting, experience a lot of different things. So if you're in to any of those things, couple it with a trip to Michigan's adventure, get some good, a couple good wooden roller coasters here. Um, not the worst park I've been to, not the best, obviously. It's no Cedar Point, but uh, you know, you can have, you have a lot of fun and uh, enjoy some nice wooden roller coasters. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Appreciate you all. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. We're out. It's